Hello, we are the UK competition winners Fuming Kinetics and this is our safe. This safe is comprised of three levels and the competitors will have two main problems to solve. The first section the competitors are presented with this. They have four seven second displays arranged to give you a four digit code. They have a large ball bearing valve in the center and they have a bicycle pump valve. This is to a pressure chamber. This pressure chamber has two lasers on one side and two LDRs on the other. Your goal for this is to block the two lasers from reaching the LDRs. This will in turn activate stage two. This part involves pressure law. Pressure law is P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2, which means that as pressure increases, temperature must also increase. We use this so you increase the pressure with this bicycle pump inside this pressure chamber and the temperature will increase with it of the air molecules. Now when you rapidly decrease the pressure using this ball bearing valve, it means that the temperature of the air molecules will also rapidly decrease and this causes those air molecules to condense into a cloud. And this cloud is what absorbs the radiation from the lasers which stops it from reaching the LDRs and this will enable the next part of the safe to be done. This can be demonstrated here where once pumping up this pressure chamber when you rapidly decrease the pressure a cloud is formed inside and this cloud absorbs the radiation from the lasers which stops it from reaching the LDRs and this in turn enables the second part of the safe to be completed. Once the first part of the safe is being completed, it will enable this motor to spin at the bottom. This is key for the completion of part two. There are two shells in this section. The top one has a centripetal device in it, and the bottom part has a motor in the left, a board of cogs, and a drive shaft in the middle that connects to the centripetal device at the top. Your goal is to create a chain of cogs using the ones provided to get from the motor and to the drive shaft with the right speed that it will cause these ball bearings to move out. The way that centripetal force is used in this section is that there are two ball bearings in the centre. As the device starts to spin, those ball bearings will gain more momentum. That momentum will want to pull them outwards as the further they get from the center, the larger the radius will be and therefore the more momentum they have. Which means as this increases, the speed of the ball bearings will increase that will cause them to fly out the sides. This will then cause them to touch the contact down here which will complete the circuit and allow you to get the four digit code to unlock the part of the safe. This can be done fairly easily by the team as there is only one track for the cogs to take, which means you just have to figure out the right cogs to put in the right holes. Once this is done, it will enable that there will be a linkage, and once replacing the safety screen and pushing it all the way in, it will cause the motor to spin, which will cause the device on top to spin, which will cause the balls to fly out. And the balls flying out will cause this seven sec four seven second displays above to display the right code. This safe was interesting to make as it incorporates a lot of different designs. The safe was well the top part of this safe was inspired by me and a few other of our teammates as little kids always used to fire off bottled rockets. Now we always noticed, for some strange reason to us at that point, that when you shot them off they'd always have a cloud inside them. And it was me who came up with the idea of why not using that to absorb radiation emitted from a laser to then incorporate it into a safe. The um, second part is inspired 
by the gearbox used in cars and it was an idea about how gear ratios and about how the total amount of teeth will depend on the speed that the next cog takes. Thank you very much for watching this talk of our safe. I really hope that this has explained how our safe works and explained a little bit why we built it like this. I would like to personally say that it has been a joy to work with the Wiseman Institute on this project and it has been an invaluable experience and I really hope that more people get to experience something like this in the future. Thank you very much.